um, thanks for staying with us. Remember, you can join the conversation. Just tweet to us at Plus TV Africa or as Ways to Africa One with the hashtag Ways, or you send an SMS to 0818 We have an SMS, but EC, you had a question. Yes, yeah, the, the question is most families or most people with, from the background of being abused or, or, or um, pained in one way or the other tend to find an outlet to let it go, which is based on the last thing you said, based on the fact that most parents or most um, people that have been given pain have uh, the outlet of having to give out pain because yeah. that's the only way they Some know how to express. Some people hurting people hurt others. That's the only way they can express themselves. Mm -hmm. So is it, most, is it possible that generally that people that have gone through these pains then tend to give it to others generally? Oh, oh no. Um, there is a tendency for everyone to do that until there is an intervention. And usually interventions of all sorts happen. Intervention can be someone having, you know, a spiritual experience. It could be someone meeting up with an aunt who, you know, takes them out from family, tries to educate them, or then meeting that teacher in a college, in a, in a whatever, who becomes a mentor, begins to help them, then reading a book that is totally moves them to, you know, no, sometimes people read books and nothing happens. So them just going to this, you know, religious uh, festival or conference or something, it could be just them doing some reflection or having an encounter or a significant emotional event or experience happen with them and then something shakes them up or moves them or they have a near-death experience, oh. you know, or something happens all by themselves until, they, or they go for, a, of course, a course or, you know, they see a professional therapist or a, a psychologist, a, a, a medical doctor, uh, what they call them now, psychiatrist. Psychiatrist, yeah. okay. So if there's an in intervention, these patterns can be stopped. But when there is no pattern, what happens is this thing just goes on and goes on. It shows up in different forms, you know. But some people get to break out, some don't. Largely, most people don't. Wow. Okay, so we have an SMS here. Someone says, hello, Ways. Um, how honest can you be with friends in situations where you really need to be upfront on something and not w willing to lose the friend? Friendship. Um, Talking about honesty, I think sometimes we're too quick to give out information to friends. I often have this theory of, if you, if you have read the Bible, the temple is divided into the outer court, the inner court, and the holy place, or the holy of holies. Some friends are on the outer court place. They are in the veranda of your life. You don't need to be giving them bedroom um, information, information. Yeah. information, inner courts, mm. or holy of holy information. You meet people, hi, hello, hi. That's not when to tell them, oh, I killed someone, I had an abortion, or something. Mm. No, you don't do that. So trust is supposed to be earned when people with the last information you know that when you hear what people say about people with related subjects what they say about some other people's events what they say about different things you will know can I trust this person right. are they judgmental are they accepting are they proving they're wise and stable are they temperamental you know these things we will see people can't pretend for too long exactly. you, you would see how they are responding you see how they are reacting and then you can know whether you should trust them or not the thing is to pay attention and observe what's going on with the people who are around you mm -hmm. and as you see them react to other people and to what you are saying and what is going on you will know if you can trust them further but don't take people from the outer court or from the veranda of your and just life. take them straight just to the bedroom, bedroom. Just take them straight yeah. to the bedroom mm. there's no prescribed time but there's that thing they have called, to earn it. you know, sensory acuity, exactly. observe, pay attention, and, and let people... You know, but, okay, so, you know, so now, when this, when the age of social media, everybody is very conscious of what people say about them. Mm. And frankly speaking, I don't care what you say about me online. But I realize that why people are committing suicide left, right, and center is because they're very conscious. And I wish I can drum it into the ears of people that, honestly speaking, you think that the whole world will come crumbling. Especially the younger ones. News, no matter how bad it is that they've said you committed maybe murder or whatever, Life it will only up. last maybe a week. Yeah. That's the maximum. maximum. The trend. Another thing will come up. Something else over. will trend in another maybe. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, exactly. you can only trend maybe for an hour. Yeah. That's how that's I feel. Yeah. So day. how can maximum. we help people rise above this fear of, oh, the whole world will know. The whole world, what will people say? Well, because I believe that people are very conscious of what other people the say yeah. about them. Like, and that's why they are, they are under this pressure, you know, to want to please people. And this is why people, you know, 
and are falling mm -hmm. into this depression and, and staying in toxic staying relationships. In toxic relationships. You don't want to build a fortress or a place of safety only when the storm arrives. You want to build it before the storm arrives. Everyone who is at this table right now, someone who is viewing the program, is either in some crisis or is about to go into a crisis or is just coming out, out of a of crisis. One. And if you're coming out of one, you're going to head out to another. Absolutely. <laughs> Some, <laughs> so, really someone is in degrees. And, right. and someone says, you know, to be troubled is to be human. Once you are a human being, the day you wake up and no trouble around you, check out, you may be in a box somewhere going to <laughs> six feet below. Just check, just be sure. You know, but to be human is, is to be troubled, is, it's, to, it's to be, to, to have a lot of stuff happen. And like she said, what I said, it's right, people, things trend and then they fizzle out. Things trend and they fizzle out. But it's not, it's not, it's not um, easy to say that because there are people who don't, who don't understand this. But yeah. to, to, to surround yourself with very, a good support system, good friends who will give good counsel, you know, don't listen to just one person. Have two, three people that you can say, hey, I want to check this up with you. I want to check this up with you. And so to prepare for the storm, you know, build yourself, read um, widely, know a little bit of everything. everything. Um, not so much of everything, but know a little bit of everything. Um, be your own person. Know what your values are. You know, that's so key. Most people, especially in this part of the world, do not know their values at all. Who are you? What are your values? What's your identity? What makes you you? Because when you know that no matter what storms, you know, so come self, around you, self -mastery. It's, it's first self-awareness. Awareness before. Because there's no sense of self-awareness with many of us. So we're like, you know, any wind that blows, we just, we just, go, just, with just, yeah, we go with the tide. Go with the tide. That's especially younger people. Unfortunately, uh, peer pressure is not just for young people today. You know, we're putting our kids in schools because our neighbor, you know, is done yeah, there. So we have to go to this vacation sure. because the other neighbor. So do you think that has so to do sad. with the mindset Set of the individuals who happen to be. I, in we this. are a society in crisis. I think we are living in denial of the crisis that we face. Mm -hmm. But a, a day of reckoning is coming, and I think it's going to be a bit worse than what we currently have. Where someone said that the, the rich, the poor, will look for the rich to eat their meat. You know, Th that's not my prediction. But I, I, I literally heard Professor Patutomi say this um, a couple of a few years ago, and it, from something he read from a book yeah. I haven't read yet, and it was so profoundly true when I thought about it. You know, we 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 just just keep pretending like nothing is happening. Uh, um, I'm so glad that we have no, these conversations, that young people are the ones who are the architects of this kind of conversation. And um, we can have all the fun, and but we can talk about real life issues. We can go, you know, just take some fresh air at the beach, still talk about these life issues. I think we should have friends from different backgrounds always with us. We should choose our friends. We should not allow our fr friends to force themselves on us. Yeah. That way we can build fortresses. We should also be close to family. The thing about family is family is where you run to when the whole world is against, against you. Everything is against you. And they accept and you. Accept you. you know? And family is not family only is. blood. It's not only blood. <laughs> it's like this. Yes. The good book says there's a friend that is yeah, closer than, 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 a family, than, yes. than family. So, So for someone like me, like so, I mean, I have my flight or fight um, response mm -hmm. is if I feel like I'm in danger, I'm, I'm going to look for every single way to get out of that situation. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's, that's how my mind works. I don't know how come I've become that way. Mm -hmm. And I can't understand when people are in situations and they're just unable to get out of the situations. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, if you're uncomfortable, why are you staying there? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's automatically going to happen. Or say something. It should just be exactly, because I find myself like, okay, no, this isn't right. Like mm -hmm. in work in work situations, I've had toxic work environments and I just felt like I needed to leave. It took some time, but I just needed to go out. Because again, it was affecting my mental state, you know, you're thinking about something a lot. It was affect, I was second guessing myself and I thought, you know what, I can't continue like this. And I guess some people, and our society is really bad in terms of you tell people like, oh, don't worry, just manage, just cope. And I'm like, no, I don't mm. want to cope. I don't mm. have to live life this way. So mm -hmm. why can't people be like this? One of your values would likely be um, peace or happiness peace. or, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, most people don't know what their values are. So we often tend to drift in the direction of our values right. and run away from everything that contradicts those values, mm -hmm. you know, everything that, but we don't have an awareness of what they really are, apart from going to a corporate training and somebody says, oh, the values are integrity and, 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 and hard work and this, and we say, oh, that sounds nice, I like that one, oh, that one sounds nice, I like that one. We haven't really properly elicited, what are my values? What is important to me? What keeps me awake at night? What, what makes me lose my sleep? You know, the person who takes 
um, your phone and goes home and sleeps and the next day he's like oh thank god and the person who takes your phone gets home and they're like goodness me whose phone is this and they can't sleep it's it's not one is not worse or bad than the other i would think it's it's it's, 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 it's what their values are they it's revealing what their values so it's about are. understanding other people's yeah. values and knowing that okay this and, doesn't make yeah so then when we know people's values we want to know who do we want to partner with who do we want to be friends with yes. you know people are getting into relationship, business yes. relationship yes. marriage relationship romantic relationship That's no sense of what are values. my values what are the other person's values and right because if there's a clash then obviously there's always going to clash. yeah and yeah. you can know this clash is earlier you can get out like you said yeah because so once you're getting out you're saying no oh, this place is toxic toxic for me this and that's that's the word toxic really this toxic, place is yeah. it's not okay i can't breathe you know, so I this, this means I that feel myself. toxicity yes. will mean different things to different people yes. per values that they Yeah, have. but we're always experiencing this. We're feeling uncomfortable. We're feeling like we're no longer creative. Our creativity is stifled. Mm. Is there, we're feeling well, ourselves, you know. Well, innocent. You know, okay, so this thing you just said is striking a nerve for me because yeah. most times when I get to a point where I'm beginning to feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. and I say, no, I have to get out because... When I'm beginning to feel like this thing is not working for me, I have to mm -hmm. leave, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Then my sister goes like, ah, every time this exactly. day. I said, well, but I'm not feeling. Your sister. Yeah, my sister. Okay. Yeah. My yeah. sister goes like, you always, you know, she, she's like, she's like, she's like a in my face. <laughs> <laughs> she goes But like, there are times when she does it well as well. No, she, she does it for like, the right she reasons. Means she, well. Well. Yeah. she means well, but yes. she always feels like, she feels sometimes like I give up too easily and all mm -hmm. of that. I don't want to push her. But I'm trying to explain to her that no, this doesn't feel right. right. I am feeling like if I continue with this, I'm going to get frustrated. It's, we are not, I, I'm seeing that I'm going to have a bad bad um what's it called um place with this with this mm -hmm. relationship if i continue mm -hmm, with it mm -hmm. and she goes like well you give up too easily you should we should no you should you should be able to tolerate some people sometimes blah, blah, blah. i said no you know so i i mean i can smell toxic mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> i mean like i can smell it if Myers i don't off. like you trust me i can i can smell right. it and i say oh you're done mm -hmm. um i walk away like i can smell it mm -hmm. so but sometimes people think that like, i give up too easily it, i mean is it am i wrong to I think it's that place where you're maintaining your authenticity and saying, oh, this is who I am. However, it's how we communicate it. You may not need to communicate it in such a brash, you know, way. <laughs> it's not working. You, okay, it, you know, you can do it with, with tact, Subtlety, yeah. you know, where somebody's saying, what's that word again? They say where you make people go to hell and they look forward, look to, forward to the truth. I look forward to the truth. Oh! You know? That's so, exactly. yeah, so you can, you can, you can, you, you are not comfortable. The, the good thing is, I'm telling you the, the truth. Your sister is the kind of person who, once they stumble on the street, they want to know what your opinion. Now, it's not you, but it's them. Because they know you tell them the truth. Yeah. And that's that's your strength. That's your area of strength. You see something, it itches you, say, and I hear they pain me, you know, and you don't say pretend it about it. it. No. You know, so there's, there's a place for that, and there's some strength that comes with that that will help your other relationships as well. well. Mm -hmm. So we have just one one SMS just came in now. So <laughs> let me quickly take it. Um, this is from Joss. Okay, Abdul Alam. Oh, Josh Sire from Joss says, "How can one detoxify his mind from some of the harshest situation he faces, even when it seems like he's tired? Um, all is uh, tired of all, and everything seems." Um, not, not to work, what not to work. a place okay a place of learned helplessness actually yeah learned helplessness mm -hmm. is basically that's you are in a place profound. of addiction learned where helplessness. you are now you are in a behavior like people who smoke have learned helplessness with smoking learned. that's the only way they can re they can um, deal with some pressure they have to smoke and they don't even know when they smoke when they you smoke. know or people take substances or people who are addicted to um, relationships and they can't break out and all of that basically a place of addiction is learned helplessness right. and well, psychology so how can they um the first thing is what you said with your sister pull back you know applied some breaks pull back pull aside pulling back may not um may mean you need to give yourself time to listen to yourself you know listen to yourself we have one very good gift from god that we mostly don't use it's called intuition listen to yourself listen to how do i feel about this you know it's your intuition that makes you say no i'm not okay with this i need to leave this place now i don't i don't need this right now yeah. most of us the intuition is dead um I was gonna because say that. severally 
we We've things pop up, we ignore, we ignore, we ignore, we ignore. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we're following some other voice. Yeah. Exactly. So you're not numb to it. it it's happening. It's always when so we can wake it up again. But that will come from a place of withdrawal, um, meditation. The year is ending. Take some private time to do some retreats. Retreat is not prayer and fasting. Retreat is step aside, <laughs> fast from all the talk. Hmm. Fast, you know, fa there's a just lot of a, there's a lot that is fasting that we don't know. It's just, we just, it's just know. Food. All we know is food. Mm. All we know is food. <laughs> Fast from social, social media, media. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Fast yeah. from television sometimes. Fast from all the, the wahala. Wow, there are so many um, messages coming. Someone says, please, how can I get help? I am in a toxic relationship currently, and um, and your program has really touched me. That's Tolu from Lagos. I think oh, we'll yeah. probably send your, your details to Mr. Osa. I don't know. Yeah, um, but basically, um, a lot of these people... Uh, no, and knowing that and saying that is the first step. Yeah, yeah. so that Accept. is the recognizing and acceptance Accept. that there's a problem. Acceptance. Um, I'm sure that every one of us, without coming here, we know someone that we can talk about stuff. Yeah, the exactly. things that sometimes we don't like what they will say to us. Wow. Uh, right. Like, eh, I want to see see Mabel, but the problem with Mabel is she hits it where it matters and. She's not, I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that now. So you look for who would confirm what you objectively. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you don't want objectivity. You're just looking for who will pander to your, to opinion, your opinion and, and all of that. We all have. Yeah. I think for me, for me though, I think what you just said is really true because for me, it started with me first telling myself the truth. Mm -hmm. When I told myself the truth, every other person, you know, so it, see, I'm so stubborn until I tell myself the truth before I can truly get help. If if you are not ready to tell yourself the truth, no matter what anybody says, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but, yeah. But, 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 but I want to say one really. thing. Yeah. There are some cases of. Let, let me use this quote first. Um, still water runs deep. You know, some people they don't say anything. They don't do anything. Out of the blues, you just see them walk away without even saying anything. Mm. So what do you make about people like that? Uh, well, people, it's, it's, uh, the, the people are different, mm -hmm. you know, people are different and I think that we need to be able to um, encourage differences and accommodate differences. Mm. Uh, people respond differently. They don't just respond at, as a, a spur of the moment. It's who they have become over many years. We can't make them become that kind of person, you know, in one conversation or in one, at one time. Because I'm like that. Wow. I don't say anything. I don't. Flow. It comes from somewhere. Just, it comes somewhere from I dad, observe, from mom, observe, from your observe, from your upbringing. Take my plus and minuses before you say poof, I'm out. Okay, so it comes from dad, mom, know what I've, something what I've in done. school. We not even know what I've done. You, just, you keep asking what what, what happened. There's no so, point. So I think it comes from a place, though. Who, who, who is like that from your past? That mom? Your My mom. Ah, okay. So we, 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 we so mm -hmm. as we go deeper and ask more questions, we begin. I to think see. you should book a session with him. Yeah. Yeah. By the time he's, book a session, by the time he's done with you, you realize that it's not just it, it didn't just come like that from the blue. <laughs> and so for me, My the question mom. is: this issue of a patriarchal, a patriarchal. Oh, we don't have time for patriarchal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a shame. In Nigeria, <laughs> patriarchy. Oh, it's, 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 it's deep. It's, it's deep. It's it's deep. Sad. It's deeper, and um, but in, in a nutshell, <laughs> you know? um, innocent. What do you think you want to pass with? You know, for anybody out there that is just dealing, how do you want to, you know, leave them? What final words do you have for them? Vent, mm. talk, um, talk, create space, be alone, away from the situation. Talk to people who are objective, who can uh, whatever. If you need to pray, pray, but you know, get out of a situation sometimes and observe what's going on. Ask for feedback from friends who know about your past, your creativity, your younger, you know, how you used to be. Ask them if anything is changing about you. Get people who would always give you honest be genuine. feedback. And yes. like who I said earlier, be brutally honest with, with yourself. yourself yeah. Be yeah. brutal. Look at the man in the mirror, the woman in the mirror, and tell yourself the truth. Check out what people are saying about how are you dressing these days. Are you becoming more of a withdrawing person are you taking are you, have you become louder mm. uh, sometimes people think to just the, mask the, the, yeah the... to mask everything have you become louder have do you want to just move into groups and uh, situations and people without you know checking thank you so things? much oh my god more messages are coming but we're sorry we cannot take it we oh, have can to I take, take, take it that's from yes, Benin oh, please at what time do we it. stop assuming that our lovers will change as per getting better that's Papi from Benin I'm sorry we can't answer that question mm. um so 
thank you to everyone that has sent in their SMSs. We'll try to answer you probably offline. So catch a repeat broadcast of this episode, 3 p.m. tomorrow. And watch all our previous episodes on YouTube. Go to the link plus TV Africa. And uh, remember, it's always good, like he has said, vent, say whatever it is, but just find a way to get out of toxic relationship because the end is usually not, it's not nice. Nice. Um, see you tomorrow because we're really out of time. We'll see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. live. We love you guys. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.